Hey, what's up guys? It's Phil and this is 3D Japan and today we're taking a look at a couple of new kinds of resin that were sent to me. So the first one uh, was this Ace Adity. This one is their Elite Series. It is 8K resin and it oddly comes in a bag and they also sent me some in a bottle, uh, which is a different kind of bottle that I'm used to, but it's curious about this bag uh, that it would be very difficult to pour into there and then to pour from your vat the excess back into the bag. But uh, yeah, so <laughs> when you read this on the, the sales page, it says it's a refill. But then in the video on their website, it specifically shows someone pouring from the bag into the vat. Uh, so I don't know what their actual intention is. It would make sense if it's a refill to, and you're supposed to really use the bottle first. Uh, but yeah, I just poured from the bag because it was kind of fun. It has a nifty little handle. And, but that was fun. Uh, but anyway, so um, yeah, it, it is 8K resin. This is a 2K printer I was using, but the details still came out fantastic. Okay, if we take a look at these, they look great. These uh, these two are both uh, from the same artist. Is a, just double checking. Yes, this is from uh, Printed Obsession. Uh, sculpted both of these. Uh, so of course, uh, Ray and Asuka from Neon Genesis Evangelion. And you can see, we'll take a closer look in a moment, the details look really good. This resin came out very smooth. I can almost not see any layer lines. That They look fantastic. These prints were actually printed in separate parts and then glued together. It came out really well. And then of course we have Alita, the uh, Battle Angel Alita or Alita Battle Angel, if you're thinking of the movie. This was printed by 3D, or designed by 3D Art Guy. And uh, yeah, again, this one, detail came out good. I specifically chose this model because it has a ton of really tiny details. So let's take a close look at that. You can see it looks really good. These tiny details came out perfectly. And so I can't even imagine what it would be like if I was using an actual 8K printer. One thing about this resin is that it's very liquidy. I don't know if you can hear it. Not, you probably can't hear a sloshing, but it's very liquidy, and that actually means that you can print faster with it, too. Okay, next up, in honor of spooky season, uh, Soraya Tech offered to send some of their glow-in-the-dark resin, which I immediately said yes to, but I said, wait a minute, I didn't even know glow-in-the-dark resin existed. But yeah, so they sent some of this over. Pop that on there. And the first thing I printed was uh, Oogie Boogie from uh, the Nightmare Before Christmas. Uh, this was designed by Chelsea Creates Things. And I think he came out really well. It's, it's, the details are all visible really nicely. You can see like the, the texture of the burlap he's made of. Yeah, it just came out really cool. And then we have a little ghost cat that I designed myself, which is completely hollow. He's just the uh, the cloth. So I thought he was really cute, and I hope you think he's cute too. Okay, that's uh, just a quick look at these uh, two... Uh, resins. I don't know if they're actually, I was going to say new resins, but they might have been out for a while. But um, yeah, let's look at these two and some of the really cool models that some other artists have done, including myself. 
um, but yeah, I'll leave links to uh, the resins and the models below if you want to check it out yourself. All right, so happy Halloween, and I will see you next time.